What up, what up, what up? This your boy Kojak, the host of the Follow Up Podcast, and you are now tuned in to Meet the Artist. My name is Corey Jose Jr. Uh, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Graduated from Richwoods, class of 2013. And uh, I originally, I started uh, behind the scenes, cameraman for uh, my guy Kyle Randall. We were uh, interviewing basketball players uh, that were in high school all over the country. Now, a lot of them are in the NBA now. Uh, that's where I got my start. Uh, after I did that, I became interested in the music game as long with him. You know, he became a rapper, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to rap, didn't have the passion for it, but I had the passion for the music and I wanted to learn the game. And uh, without with Peoria not having those type of avenues, I figured, why not me? You know what I'm saying? Why not I start that and bridge the gap and become the music uh, influencer I am today? Kojak originally came about from Dragon Ball Z um, character uh, named Bojack, uh, the blue guy. He was badass. Uh, he was a. Uh, I think he fought Gohan or something like that. He was blue, though. You know, he looked like a big crip. Um, so his name was Bojack. My name started with a C, so I just made it Kojak. So that's why I am now. Follow-up came about because uh, originally I tried to start a little label. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know what I was doing. I was young. And um, the whole concept behind the name follow-up proceedings to the label was um, giving up your dreams to uh, achieve them uh, in, uh, as a team. So that's where the up comes from. And then, of course, you got to follow your dreams. So that's how we got follow. And I just put follow up together, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I got that name. Well, right now, it's a tough situation because the, uh, the guy that got me into this, a role model dude I look up to in this podcast game, is currently going through a tough situation. Um, Tax Stone, you know, um, I'm a huge radio head. Uh, Charlemagne the God has a podcast called Brilliant Idiots. I was listening to that for uh, months uh, while I was at work. And uh, they had a guy by the name of Taxstone on the show. And when Taxstone was on the show, he was very authentic, very real, like relate to a lot of things he was talking about. And then a couple months later, he had his own podcast. I started listening to him. And once I started listening to him and seeing how the process worked, I figured, hey, I could do that for my city and be a pioneer and give uh, artists here interviews the same way he was doing. Um, so I definitely credit Tax Stone with giving me the idea and being the influencer for me to even do a podcast. I know he's going through a tough situation right now, but I'm praying for him and I hope he pulls through, God willing. Uh, the biggest podcast I've had so far you know, in almost two years of doing this, I probably would, would go with um, both um, top 10 lists. Um, those, the impact those felt across this city were phenomenal. Um, love, positive or negative, you know what I'm saying? Everyone in the city was talking about them. I couldn't go to the barbershop, church, work without someone talking to me about it, uh, someone rapping to me about why they feel they shouldn't have made it. So I definitely would say those two, but if I had to say an individual uh, podcast by an artist, I'd probably go with Passport Lewis uh, because he was on Sway in the Morning on Monday, and then on Friday he was on a follow-up podcast um, in Peoria, Illinois. You know what I'm saying? And I think that for him to humble himself and come from Sway to my show. When um, I wasn't as big as I am now, you know what I'm saying, um, definitely was a big break, and I definitely appreciate uh, him for that. Me being media of Peoria, you know, uh, being the voice as far as the behind the scenes or the one who's going to critique these artists and try to guide them the best way I can. Um, not saying they necessarily need me to, but um, I'm not a rapper and I want to be a part of this culture, so this is what I chose to do. Um, I think it's big. Um, it means a lot to me that I've um, gained a lot of respect throughout the city. Um, I'm a pioneer, you know what I'm saying, with what I'm doing, you know, the way I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, at the age I'm doing it. I'm a pioneer, and uh, I definitely feel my influence, whether I like a song or dislike a song, is definitely starting to show. 
it took a while to get um, this amount of respect from everyone. It took a while for people to say that um, my opinion is the only one that matters. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's a slogan that I preach. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that that's it's cliche. You know what I'm saying? Of course, my, I'm not the only opinion that's going to matter. But that's just, you know, I want my opinion to value that much. I think um, Peoria's music scene is growing. Um, to start off two years ago, we just had some a lot of people here rapping. And we had a lot of old heads that used to rap that weren't putting out music. That were probably unmotivated. Um, didn't feel the music scene was going anywhere. And then I came along. And, and um, I don't feel that I made Peoria's music scene a uh, scene. I feel I just started to shed light on it. And once I started to shed light on it, people started to come out the woodworks. More people started to rap. More people started to take it serious. More people started to fuck, just play around and bullshit. Um, so I definitely feel we do have a scene now. Um, we don't have our own sound all the way yet, but we're working in that direction. But I think um, you can grab any sound that you're looking for. You can find in Peoria, definitely. The long-term goal for follow-up is uh, to be a, a business, um, as well as I want to be on a radio station. But I want to take the follow up brand with me. You know what I'm saying? We're we're branching off. We're becoming more than just a podcast. I do have an artist signed to follow up. It goes by the name of Spenzo. Not from Chicago. Peoria Spenzo. Um, I'm looking to sign another artist as well. Um, and it's not like a label thing. It's uh, more so of promotion, consulting, things of that nature. It's not like I'm a record label or anything like that. They can do whatever they want to do. Um, but I definitely want to get get on the radio with the show as well as you know um i want to be an a and r leading into an exec leading into a president of a record label where i can make some big decisions um not just for my city but for the cities around like this one where there's talent they just uh, don't have a pipeline um actually um when i first started to do the podcasting game it was um uh, the NBA podcast was coming first, Full Court Press. Um, everybody knows about that, that I was starting that. I'm still starting that. It's just a timing thing because follow-up is starting to take off. So I don't want to rush into to do Full Court Press and then I have that same impact. Because um, it, it'll probably impact a different crowd, you know what I'm saying? A lot of music cats might not really mess with sports heavy because we're going to go in details. Um, but with the Full Court Press show... Um, anybody who sees this um, and you start to do a sports podcast, you know where you got it from. You got it from Kojak, but I am doing one. I'm not going to go into details on how I'm doing it, but it's really dope. And we're looking at probably around the NBA draft of 2017 is when we'll start that. Uh, it's Miami. Um, there's no questions asked when it comes to South Beach. Um, last time Chicago won. I was like maybe two or three. You know, I say I wasn't alive in a barbershop. Uh, D. Wade, third greatest shooting guard of all time. Um, I really would like to see anyone argue that, you know. Um, please don't say Jerry West. He's a point guard. Please don't say Clyde Drexler. I like George Gervin over him. And I like Dennis Johnson as well over him. Um, if you don't know who Dennis Johnson was, he was a shooting guard for them, them Celtics uh, when Burr was there. He just got overshadowed. But um, I'm not a Bulls fan at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all can see a clip. Dwayne Wade is behind me in his Miami Heat jersey on a fat head. Um, I'll never buy a Bulls jersey. You know what I'm saying? It always would be Miami. Anytime I talk about Wade, and go to a Heat, uh, go to a Bulls game. I'll have a Dwayne Wade Miami Heat jersey on. D Wade. My top five greatest of all time. Uh, my top three never changes. Um, the other two slots do, but uh, my number one is Jay-Z, greatest of all time, dead or alive. Any argument anyone says, I can argue with for hours. There's no way he can't be number one. Um, number two for me is Big. Um, and if you ask anyone, they always say Big and Pac, so it's cliche, but I think Big is two. Number three is Ice Cube. He's the greatest MC from the West Coast. Yes, he's better than Tupac. Um, in my opinion, without ice, we don't have a Tupac, whether people acknowledge that or not. Um, and number four, number four is always tough for me personally. Um, 
it's not necessarily he's number four all time, but it's just my top five. I would have to say uh, it's 50 Cent because without 50 Cent, that's who, that's pretty much how I discovered hip hop was through 50 Cent. I was eight years old. I heard How to Rob. Um, and I heard Get Rich or Die Trying. Then the movie came out. Then the massacre. So I definitely credit him. And uh, for my fifth spot, uh, right now, you know what I'm saying, just based off what he's achieved at this particular moment, I, I got to go with T.I. I think what T.I. has accomplished in his career, the music that he made, it was amazing to me. So I definitely feel T.I. is has my fifth spot. Now, four and five do change with my top ten. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like Eminem is right there to me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like Nas. Sometimes I feel Big L a little bit. Sometimes I might have Busta Rhymes in, in, in the conversation as well. Sometimes I might have Beanie Siegel. So it does change, but he asked me this. He literally, Jordan, uh, threw this out there on the fly, so that's who I'm vibing with right now. 2017, and we're looking at a lot of visuals. You know what I'm saying? This is my first visual that you're probably going to see. Um... But we're looking at some big interviews. I have some big ones planned um, for February. You know, that's coming around Black History Month. Definitely got some in the store. Um, I, I love music, but I kind of want to do a passion um, podcast once a month. You know what I'm saying? Meaning like I might do one that has nothing to do with music. And might just do one that I feel is important for the community. We got to start telling those stories and we got to start informing the black community. Um about more than just the music side hip-hop is more than just music hip-hop is knowledge itself as well you know what i'm saying you got to have knowledge and um i feel having more passion projects um more like um i just had jaleesa smith on talking about depression had kendrick foster talking about him getting to the um hit game being at u of i potentially getting to the nfl next year you know motivating kids in that way as well as um it's sports um, you know, sports and hip hop intertwine. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at AI and what he did for hip hop. Look at what NWA did for the Oakland Raiders back in the day. Hip hop and sports intertwine. You know what I'm saying? And the black community is hip hop to me personally. So um, I definitely want to do more passion projects um, as well as traveling. You know, um, we're looking at potentially New York, um, potentially LA. You know what I'm saying? We're going to Chicago very soon. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully everything is aligned, you know, with Solo Visions, the SMG and follow up. You know, we, we, we're collabing on some things. So I definitely feel um, those things are going to matter the most. You know what I'm saying? More visuals, like I've already stated. Um, I want to plan an event for the summer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more details will come with that. Um, as well. But I think this year is going to be big for follow up. You know what I'm saying? The two year anniversary. It's coming up. We're going to definitely show out for that as well um, with more details for that. But uh, I think 2017 is going to be dope. I'm looking forward to it. My last message to everybody is be yourself. It's really that simple. You know, um, we got a lot of people who try to be something they're not. You know what I'm saying? For sure. That's not how you get, get ahead in life. You know what I'm saying? You get exposed that way. You get talked about. You get bashed. And you don't have to care what anyone thinks. But you do have to care about the person that looks in the mirror every day when you wake up. Thanks. And I think that's what matters the most. Um, give credit to what credit is due. If someone influenced you, if someone made you think of an idea, give them their credit. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure people are going to start doing podcasts around Peoria, Illinois. People are going to start wanting to get interviewed by other podcasts. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look for those. People are going to start trying to do radio shows or talk shows or whatever. Just just acknowledge the follow up podcast or Kojak don't matter. Acknowledge that we brought notoriety. We brought this this format. We brought this type of content to the city because those radio stations don't care at this particular point about what we're doing. So give credit to what credit is due. Be yourself and, and always, always. Stay true to who you are and, and what you want to do. If you don't love it, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? If you in this for money, 
you might as well sit back and wait it out because everybody who's in this for money doesn't always pay out. it doesn't always happen as fast as they think so definitely be yourself this is Kojak from the follow-up podcast you are now tuned in to meet the artist shouts out to solo vision shouts out to smg i appreciate the opportunity we out god bless <laughs>